Anthony Mattia, Pullman, Melbourne, um, on the park, and this is a corner suite, 1014. Um, by the way, when I was, when I was last time at this hotel, maybe two years ago, a year and a half ago, um, this used to be a, um, this used to be a part of Hilton, Hilton chain, but it was just rebranded earlier this year. So here you can see the, um, see the living room, and um, there's a very large sofa, doesn't look very comfortable. Um, I did rate the rate the tea and coffee already. So all the tea bags are gone. Um, and here's the new bar itself. So there's some some soft drinks and snacks. And there was the um, the kettle. And of course you have a uh, water bottle and <coughs> excuse me, red one there as well. And let's go to the uh, let's go to the bedroom. So, um, here's the bedroom, nothing really to say about, and the uh, bathroom is actually quite spacious, so you have a two sinks over here. If I swing a little bit, here we have a, a toilet, here's the bathtub, and on the other side is the, uh, is the shower. And by the way, there was a really horrible um, all the pressure actually in the morning when I was trying to have a shower. So meaning there was no pressure at all. Um, the localization is totally is fine. Um, it's within the walking distance with the central business district. It's right next to the park. Um, it's now mid-May and it's a late autumn over here so that's why um, you'll see the uh, see the colors on these uh, on these trees. So again this was the uh, Pullman Hotel Melbourne on the park which used to be a, a Hilton Hotel and this was a corner suite 1014 by the way this was the, exactly the same room that I a room type that I received as a um, Hilton Devonor member over here so they do quite okay care of their um, lot of program members but the point is that this is actually an Emirates crew hotel so there's a lot of Emirates stuff over here which you know some people like some people don't Normally, it implies that they have a revenue problem when you have a lot of um, airline crew staying. 